I try to be mindful of how I film this light mask because I feel like they're very scary looking which is why I often only vlog the box. I've been using this light mask since December last year and I love it. I really feel a difference when I use it. This is the second time I've worn it this week. I just use it twice a week now. When you first start it's three times a week. Uh, but yeah, it's something that I do, but I just don't always share it because it's scary. My husband will literally be like, you've got your scary mask on again. Just doing some light therapy this morning after I have been getting into a routine of doing gua sha at the, after I have done the light mask. I have finished reading this and oh my, I've just absolutely loved this series and fully and highly and completely recommend A Court of Thorns and Roses series. And although I am sad that that series has finished, I am very excited to dive into this book, The Fourth Wing. This is our new book club read and already it is receiving such high praise. So I have very high hopes for this and can't wait to dive into it. This morning I am going to an event called a Summer Gathering and I thought I'd take you along with me. Although it is a summer gathering, it is very much summer, but in the true English weather sense, it's very random. It's very random. It's been quite cold actually. So I am taking my jacket with me, probably an umbrella, and my sunglasses too. If you are wondering if I have moved house, the answer is no. I am staying at my mummy's house as I am looking after my grandma this week. It is a very beautiful house. It's a beautiful home and I actually feel like I'm on my holidays. The room that I'm staying in is just so beautiful. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm in a in a different in a different location. Anyway, let's get the address in so I know where I am going. Okay, let's go. finished vlogging yesterday. The event was so lovely, it really was, and it was at this most stunning, beautiful home, and I just enjoyed the, the whole experience. It was so lovely to meet lots of new people, and to meet the people behind different brands, and yeah, just had a really, really nice time. And then when I 
got back, we then went to a family birthday party and then today I have been out for a family dinner and I've just got back to my mum's now and thought I would have a little bit of a kind of self-care afternoon but also do some do some journaling do some reflecting on the week and I am going to step onto my mat and do some meditation. That is the plan for this afternoon. I am going to dive into my journaling practice and the intention for my journaling today is Svadhyaya, which in yoga is a practice of self-study and self-reflection. And I particularly want to reflect on my goals for 2024 and the progress that I have made towards them this week. So this month's theme, all things Caroline inspired, is realign. And realign is all about using this time right here, right now, as we enter into the second half of the year, to refocus, to reset, to reconnect, to, to realign with those intentions that we have set ourselves for the year. And I actually did a really big journaling session last week to get really focused on what those goals and goals and intentions are for the rest of the year. And now I want to just use this time to reflect on the week, the things that have come up, the challenges, the progress that I have made, the things that are working, the things aren't. And yeah, it just helps me stay focused. It helps me stay accountable and on track to manifest and achieve my 2024 goals. I have been writing my goals down on my phone, just in notes. And I just found like it's just something that I can make very clear reference to, rather than having to like just find whereabouts it is in my journal. The language of our goals is really important because we want them to be very clear, focused and specific and measurable to help us then achieve them. If they are very long, a little bit wishy-washy, if they aren't very focused and clear, then we're going to struggle to be focused on them and we're not going to have a very clear, defined direction in which we are going in. So I, I go through all of this in the philosophy video on the Inspired Club. But just a little quick summary. Basically, once the goals have been broken down into categories, it's then, uh, I, I then have written down the goal. So it's very, very specific. And then underneath, which this bit is key, steps to achieve. And I want to reflect on those steps and whether I've been doing them this week, whether I haven't, whether I have, what went well, what didn't, all of those things to make sure that I, I, I tweak where I need to um, and realign and refocus where I was needed to. And that basically is the format that I've done for every single every single goal that I have. So the steps underneath, very clear actions that I need to take, they are measurable then steps, and they are the things that are going to make that goal a reality. That is a part of manifestation the action that we have to take. It's no good just visualising it, working on a positive mindset and having then these clear intentions. We have to take action to make it become a reality. Like, we are powerful beings. We are powerful beings. And uh, we wanna tap into that power to manifest and bring them to, to life. So, I'm going to go through every single goal and reflect on my progress this week. And before I begin, I just want to also highlight, just in case you are doing this as well, I want to make sure that you are welcoming in the practice of Himsa, which is non-harm and non-violence. Show yourself support, show yourself compassion, show yourself self-forgiveness where it's needed. And then also we want to tap into the practice of Satya, being honest and being truthful with ourselves and taking responsibility. No one else is gonna do this for you, only you. That is empowering. So just those two things to consider you are doing your journaling practice.
for the last couple of months, I have been using an app that I've already shared actually called Habit that helps me track the progress that I'm making in relation to my goal. So your goals, like I said, need to be measurable. And this is a way that helps me measure the progress that I am making. So you literally write out what it is that you're wanting to work on. And then you can be specific with the amount of times that you need to repeat that thing and how many times a week and it tracks your progress and um, does it in percentages. It has like graphs and charts, which I think is really cool. So I can very much visually see the things that I have been doing or well, not doing, but actually this week I have done everything, which is really good. A great start to um, great start to the first week of July. I am here for that kind of energy. I am just ticking off my journaling practice that I have just done. And then the two things that are left unticked for today are my asana practice and meditation. So I am going to step onto my mat now, do an asana practice, just something very nice and slow and gentle, and then let that flow into, into a meditation. I have been doing my asana practice. Here in this little corner, it's very lovely. I am on my mat now, ready to practice. I have took my jeans off. I'm not going to film my practice because nobody needs to see that. So I will see you in a moment after I have done my practice. I have run myself a bath. I'm ready for an afternoon of some self-care. I have made myself a ginger beer in a wine glass. It's the little things that bring me joy. Just because I don't drink alcohol does not mean I don't appreciate a nice glass. And while I am in the bath, I am going to dive into some more of the fourth wing. I am still very much in the early stages of this book. I started it yesterday and didn't read too much last night when I got into bed. I was quite tired. So I'm very excited to dive into this now in the bath. And then I will also be reading some more when I get into bed tonight. After I have had my bath, I am going to spend some time with my grandma watch some TV, maybe watch a film, and then have an early night. So I am going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.